In today's episode, we look into six amazing benefits of turmeric in gardening and how to use it singly or in combination with other stuff to make it more powerful. Coming up. First and foremost, please avoid the use of chemical pesticides and fertilizers which have a lot of hazardous effects on humans and animals. That's the main reason why we promote the use of natural agents in this gardening channel. Well, turmeric rhizome contains a substance called curcumin which is a very potent antioxidant, has antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, hepatoprotective effects and is very beneficial in boosting the immune system of our body. Turmeric is not only good for the human body but also has some amazing benefits in the garden. You can easily grow turmeric plant from a small piece of turmeric rhizome and harvest a lot of turmeric. You can watch that episode from an end screen link at the end of this video. Let's begin. At number 6, Ant Repellent. Sometimes ants, especially if there are lots of them, can be a menace to your garden. They seem to be particularly sensitive to turmeric's strong odor. So, how to use turmeric to get rid of ants? Simply sprinkle turmeric powder around your plants and even over the surface of the soil. Just few pinches and not too much. This can repel ants and help you get rid of these unwanted visitors in your garden which can sometimes pose a serious threat by carrying mealybugs to the growing ends of the plants. Yes, mealybugs and ants have a symbiotic relationship. Ants carry mealybugs to the growing ends of the plants in exchange for the honeydew excreted out of their anus. So, ant control means mealybug control. At number 5, Soil Pest Control You can get rid of soil pests, particularly the fungal root rot and the fungus gnats in the soil by mixing turmeric in the soil. You can mix about 1 tablespoon per gallon of soil while making your potting mix or whenever you are repotting your plant. Remember, adding too much of it can have a negative impact on the beneficial soil microbes. The other method to use for plants that cannot be repotted is mixing 1 tablespoon of turmeric in 1 gallon of water or 1 teaspoon per liter of water and thoroughly water your affected plant with this solution. We will shortly show you how to make a powerful pesticide spray using turmeric. Please watch it till the end. At number 4, Healing Tree Wounds Similar to humans, Open wounds or injuries in plants can make them susceptible to different kinds of diseases and infections, particularly the fungal rot. Due to its natural antiseptic and antibacterial properties, turmeric is also a natural remedy to heal various types of plant wounds. You can make a turmeric paste and apply it over the wound to save the plant. This also helps in healing plant stem or branch fractures. You apply the paste and then tie a polythene or grafting tape to save the plant. This turmeric treatment is also commonly used after pruning tree branches over the cut wounds. Then also used in grafting and any other similar situations where the plant becomes exposed to external damaging factors. At number 3, to treat rose dieback disease. Rose dieback is a condition commonly affecting the rose plants where there is browning or blackening of the tip of the rose stem or a branch which then travels down towards the graft and may engulf the whole plant causing death. It can either be a branch dieback or the main stem dieback towards the graft. It's in fact a commonly encountered problem by every gardener and can sometimes be too bad causing death of the plant if no intervention is done. Though the main treatment of dieback disease is pruning the involved stem or branch, applying turmeric paste over the wound after pruning helps prevent progression of dieback disease. Then at number 2, as a rooting agent. Though not a rooting hormone, turmeric can be used to increase the chances of rooting plant cuttings. This is mainly because of the antimicrobial and antifungal effects. At number 1, Pesticide Spray. Turmeric alone as a spray can be used to treat few fungal diseases and pests like powdery mildew and other fungal spots. But it is not effective against pests like mealybugs, aphids, mites and other pests. For minor fungal spots and powdery mildew, we can mix 2 teaspoons of turmeric powder per liter of water and spray it on the affected plant. Though there is no substitute to neem oil for pest control, you can make a 
powerful and broad spectrum pesticide using turmeric and other stuff, especially if neem oil is not available in your location. You need to mix other stuff depending on what you want to treat. Like for example, from powdery mildew, we can mix 2 teaspoons of turmeric powder to 100 ml of milk and then 2 teaspoons of distilled white vinegar to 1 liter of water, mix it well and spray on the affected plant. This is the most powerful natural remedy to treat powdery mildew disease. Then secondly, if neem oil is not working on certain pests, you can add turmeric and garlic to neem oil solution if the pests are resistant to neem oil. You mix 5 to 10 ml of neem oil in 1 liter of water and add 1 to 2 teaspoons of turmeric powder or even fresh turmeric rhizome and then add 4 to 5 cloves of crushed garlic to this mixture and then see with fine to avoid clogging of the spray bottle and then spray this weekly once. Patch test on a leaf may be important depending on the concentration of your neem oil brand. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Happy gardening!